Okay, so I think I found a battery for the receiver for the jet engine. Someone is hopefully lending to that to me. Fingers crossed it fits, so we might be able to get the jet engine on the go today or at least find out what's wrong with it. Dirty lens. So my dad's gone in to see if he can get that battery pack while I sort of chill out here at the house with my son. Okay, so we got a battery pack. I have no idea if it works or if it will work or let's just do it. So that's the battery pack there. Let's see if it does anything. Fingers crossed. Right, got an LED light flashing on there, but nothing else so far. Gonna fiddle around with it a bit more. Unbelievable. We have lift off. Right, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm so excited that this is just fired up. I can't possibly film and concentrate on this at the same time. So I'm gonna do this and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. It stinks of paraffin in here. Check this out. Hear that? Hear that? It's going. Now we have no fuel lines plugged in, nothing. So it's not gonna run. So we're pretty much ready to, to get up and running. If you take a look at this, got all various functions, test, radio, bunch of other stuff. Really awesome little touch screen. That's pretty uh, pretty impressive. Can you believe it? All I needed, all I needed was this little battery. To be honest, it's tea time here, which means dinner time, if you're not from Scotland. Tea time means it's the end of the day, we're about to have dinner, and so probably leave it until tomorrow, where, you know, I'll take the whole beast in to the workshop, We've got paraffin there. We've got a workbench that we can, you know, really strap this thing down to. We can test it outside. I doubt it matters if it's raining. Like, I think it'll be fine. But once it's up and running, fingers crossed tomorrow it's up and running, it's time to see about getting it onto the skateboard. So that, that is exciting. That's very exciting. <laughs> This is what we're aiming for. We are we are aiming for this. Now, believe it or not, that little bit of the motor just whining, just hearing it starting to whine up, the starter motor, that's just like completely reignited my, pardon the pun, completely rekindled my interest and drive to get this jet powered skateboard on the go. 
if you remember before, I said I probably wouldn't use the skateboard, but I'm thinking if I can put a brake on it, then I, I might actually just do that, you know, just to get it, just to get it on the go. You know, I can make a, you know, a fancier carbon fiber titanium one another time, but you know, damn it, this, this is a cool looking skateboard. And when you ride it, it's pretty funky as well. In fact, I need to give you a better view. Let's change this around. That should be a bit better. This is the back of the skateboard here. Like I said, this this frame, this here, is just it's just a mount, just titanium mount for you know for testing it on the on the test bed. It's not likely it's going to be on here. It's it's not. Yeah, I've, I'm going to do it better than that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, it looks cool if this can just go right on the end, like right down, settled in, quite low down give you a better view of it something like that that's a little bit lower because I'm resting on the skateboard but a little bit higher maybe something like that I mean I think that looks pretty funky it's really not about looks but looks are important like things have to look nice if you can make it look nice as well as functional I am 110% for that absolutely but maybe it needs to be like back up there or something like that you know give more room for my feet when I'm actually riding it the other thing is that I've got to put a fuel tank on here so you know we look at that we have this down here where's the fuel tank gonna go is it gonna go up on the side is it gonna go you know I've got to th actually think about this get some measurements have a think about it because this is like this close to getting on the go. Like, I've got the water jet cutter, I've got plenty of titanium on hand, more than enough. I might have to get some things CNC machine for the mount, you know, to go from the sort of horizontal to vertical mounting. Stuff to think about, I've got to figure out where to put the electronics and things like that, but I think it should be pretty easy. The only thing I'm not sure about is I probably need some sort of break, I really do. But, yeah, progress. Right, okay, that's enough messing with jet engines for today. I really need to spend the rest of the night doing some work. And with that, I will leave you with this very appropriate quote for today. It's by Walter Chrysler. And he said, I feel sorry for the person who can't get genuinely excited about his work. Not only will he never be satisfied, but he will never achieve anything worthwhile. Oh, I've been in.